there's an electric fence that runs along this path and I don't think Digby's ever come across an electric fence before and he just got a little bit too close to it and got a little bit of a shock so I think he's a little bit nervous to carry on I think he's alright now though I guess it's kind of obvious, but it's really blowy up here. There's like no barrier for the wind, so I guess it's just all like hitting us like a ton of bricks. So we got up really early this morning because we wanted to come on a walk up the hill before it got really busy. And I think there might be a little bit of rain about this afternoon. It's a bit of a shame it's so cloudy though, because the views are so nice up here. I don't actually know how well you can see them yet because obviously the screen on the camera is like really small. And quite often when you get it onto the computer, it looks a lot better than it does in camera. The peak of the hills where Digby weed against the, the thingamabob at the top is 1400 feet above sea level. I'm not sure what that is in meters. It's about three and a bit feet to a meter. So what's that? Maybe like 400 meters, maybe? Around about that, I think. Another fun fact about Malvern then, there's actually a natural spring in the hill and apparently, I'm not sure if I believe this or not, but apparently the Queen's favourite tipple is Malvern water. And supposedly she takes the water all over the world with her. Whoopee! Oh. Come on! Come on in! <laughs> We haven't walked an awful long way, but it feels like we've gone so much further because of the incline of the hill. I also often wonder how many steps Digby does because obviously he's got four legs and uh, his like, uh, what's it called? The length of his reach. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. But I reckon he does about 10 steps to our one. So if we do a, a brisk walk in the morning of maybe 5,000 steps, he's got to be doing about 50,000. So it's not surprising that he sleeps all day. I don't know what it is about sitting in a hammock, but it's like the comfiest thing you could ever sit in. It like cradles you in such a way that like nothing else can. Whenever I lounge on the sofa or a chair or anything, I always tend to have really bad posture. Um, I end up sliding down and end up pretty much laying on my back and then you get like a backache. But the hammock just seems to keep your posture in check and. Yeah, it's, it's just like really comfy. Once your board is sitting on it sideways though, you can just kick back <sighs> and swing. It's currently day 19 of 31 in the Vlogger's Challenge. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's been really good fun. It is starting to take its toll a little bit, making a video every single day. Just the time it takes to film and to edit. It's really a never ending process and I certainly couldn't do it full time and kudos to anybody that does because it really is difficult. It's not just the filming and the editing, it's the constant thinking about what you're gonna film, how you're gonna edit it. So quite often I'll be editing the video in my head while I'm filming things, trying to think of certain shots to take, and it's really not 
as straightforward and easy as you might think it is and mentally it, it is quite hard to do but I think the most important thing is just to stay on top of the editing don't get too behind because then you start to get flustered and you start to panic that you're not going to get the videos out in time and being in the woods swinging on a hammock certainly makes that a bit easier I suppose So welcome everybody to what is the outdoor woodland shower. It's essentially just a wooden shed with a shower in it and then the drain just kind of like just goes down the hill. I absolutely love this shower and I think the main reason for that is because it's somewhere where it shouldn't be. It's in the middle of the woods, it's not in a bathroom, it's not in a building. When you're in there you just kind of feel like a little bit naughty that you're completely naked in the middle of the woods and you shouldn't be. I am a little bit nervous about having a shower today though because Becky had one this morning and she said that the gas ran out and the flame went out and the water went cold. So I think there might not be any gas left, in which case I'm gonna have a freezing cold shower, which I'm not too excited about, especially as it's not particularly warm today. But I had to show you guys the shower because this is like one of the main features of the woodland along with the composting toilet, which is over there. But I'm gonna hop in the shower anyway. I'm hoping there's gonna be a little bit of gas left over so it's not freezing cold. Um, but yeah, I'm preparing myself for the worst. All oh, right. Here goes nothing. Come on gas. Oh, we've got a bit of warm water. Oh, we're so lucky. There's so many bugs in here. There's a big fat mosquito on my towel. Oh my God, it's getting cold. It's getting cold. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think I got really lucky there. Must have had about one minute's worth of hot water but managed to get in, get out super quick. And just as I was rinsing off, the flames went out and the water started getting really cold. But yeah, I think we got away with that one. That barbecue was the most amazing barbecue I think I've ever had in my life. Or one of the most amazing barbecues I've ever had in my life. Either way, cooking food over a wood fire in like cast iron pans is just like the most incredible thing ever. There's something about cooking food outside with the wood and and everything just makes it like taste so much better. We're heading back home tomorrow, but we're not going directly home. We're gonna stop off at Berkshire on the way. We're staying at a place called Henley on Thames. Um, I don't think I've ever been there, but I have heard about Henley on Thames and I think it's supposed to be quite nice there. I don't think we're gonna leave here until maybe after lunch though, because there's no real rush. We don't have to check out like you would at a campsite. You don't have to be gone by like midday or anything. So I think we're gonna work the morning, just have some lunch, maybe swing in the hammock for a little bit. Um, and then head off to Berkshire. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. We'll catch you guys in the morning. So until then, safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day, and don't forget to not spill your custard. <laughs> All right. That's not how it goes. I know, I said it wrong. Don't spill your custard. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, bye bye.